this video, I'm going to show you how to professionally sanitize and disinfect your vehicle. What's going on everyone? Welcome back. So, it's April 2020. We are suffering in a worldwide pandemic right now due to COVID-19. Um, basically, a lot of places, a lot of countries all around the world are on mandatory lockdowns and quarantine. Um, basically, a lot of the public is closed. And a lot of shops are closed. You know, all retail is closed. All restaurants are closed. Only essential workers are uh, permitted to be out there working right now. So we're at a pretty crazy point in time right now. So I figured this would be the perfect time to just share with you guys a pretty easy and cheap way that you can keep yourself and your loved ones safe from this virus. And that's gonna be by disinfecting and sanitizing the inside of your vehicle. So the equipment and the chemical I'm using is commercial grade. So some of, the uh, some of the machinery is a little bit overkill for just using it inside um, a vehicle. But I'm gonna show you how you can kind of tone it down so you can make it work. But then I'm also gonna tell you guys how you can pick up the same kind of stuff at Home Depot and achieve the same outcome. So this is the chemical that we're gonna be using today. Again, this is commercial grade chemical. So you're probably not gonna find it in your local hardware store, but that doesn't mean they don't sell it on Amazon. Uh, so you could look there. But if you can't find it, you can't get your hands on this, they definitely sell, I guess it would be, you know, kind of over the counter kind of equivalent things uh, that you can use to achieve more or less the same outcome. Now, we're not gonna just be pouring this into a bottle and, uh, you know, just spraying it everywhere. That doesn't really get the coverage that we need. And then even if it's kind of like an out, uh, high output spray, you're more or less just oversaturating certain areas and you're definitely not covering everything that you need to be covering. So what you're supposed to be using is something like this. It's something like these guys down here. These are called foggers. Now, uh, there's a lot of use for foggers. Um, a lot of people use it in obviously sanitation areas. They also use it in pest control and they also use it in agriculture that, to uh, spray herbicides, stuff like that. So basically what this does is it omits the chemical out of the nozzle and hose over, over here that you can see. This is the actual canister. This is the motor right here, and you pour your chemical into here. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, like the name says, fogger. Basically think of it as like a fog machine that you would see like at a, at a concert or a party or something like that. You pour liquid into it, fog comes out. It's the exact same premise, just with a disinfectant. Now you've probably seen videos uh, lately on the news of people walking around in kind of like hazmat suits with these backpacks on and like these hoses and they're walking around basically fogging every, uh, places to basically clean them. This is the exact same concept of that. These are just held, uh, you know, basically uh, free sitting handheld ones and those are a mobile backpack one. But the, the premise is the exact same thing. Again, these are commercial grade ones because I do this on a commercial scale. But you can definitely do this for the uh, interior of your uh, car. It you just have to tone it down a lot. You see right here, these, these are basically the nozzles that you can adjust how much output you want out of the nozzle. So for spraying it inside the interior of a car, because again, these are commercial, they have a super high output and you can run through this entire thing within minutes. Doing that, it's gonna be a waste of chemicals. So you definitely wanna tone it down. You wanna you know, preserve as much chemical as possible. That way you can keep sanitizing it. You don't, you, know, you don't basically blow it all in one time. So you wanna basically turn this all the way to get it to close. And then for inside the interior of your car, just do a quarter turn. That's gonna be more than enough output to basically coat the entire interior of your car. So like I said, you don't, definitely don't need a fogger like this to get the job done. I'm gonna put a picture right here of a Ryobi fogger that you can go and pick up at Home Depot. It's around 100 bucks. It runs on one of their lithium batteries and it's basically just a handheld unit. So we went over the fogger and the chemical. The next thing you're gonna need are some clean rags. Um, I would recommend trying to find some never used rags before so you know they're clean. Uh, if you can't get those, um, go ahead and throw any of the rags you have in the washer. Um, basically get those all clean and disinfected before you go ahead and try and start cleaning your vehicle with uh, some contaminated rags. So 
The main thing you want to remember is you want to keep everything as sanitized as possible. If you've ever worked in a kitchen or you've ever worked in a hospital, you know the number one rule is never cross-contaminate. So the same concept applies to this. You want to keep that working environment as clean and sterile as possible and the, the, you definitely don't want to be introducing any outside elements to that. So clean rags, that's a must. Then you also need some PPE. I recommend wearing a respirator. If you don't have access to a respirator right now because I know things are uh, kind of weird, go ahead, get a face mask. Any sort of protection is better than nothing. So before we start spraying everything, we want to basically go over to the vehicle and clean out and empty as much as the interior as possible. You don't want to go ahead and just start blasting everything with the uh, disinfectant because that's not going to be the best way to do it. We definitely want to get these floor mats removed. We want to get anything out of these compartments cleaned out, anything that we might have in here, um, all of this stuff out of here because we're going to be disinfecting everything. Um, stuff if you have stuff hidden up here get that out. Um, basically anything from the back of the car basically you want to just remove everything so now that we have everything out of the vehicle we want to go ahead and try and get as much of this debris lifted up off of the floor and off of the seats and also we don't want a bunch of all this debris flying everywhere since it's sitting down here it's probably been down here for some time you're if you're out in public or you're an essential worker you're walking around you could potentially track anything you have on your feet down here so if you brought in some debris we definitely want to basically suck all that up before we start disinfecting so obviously what you're going to want to do is go ahead get a vacuum and start vacuuming the full interior of your vehicle Okay, so we got the vehicle completely vacuumed out now. Remember, you want to go ahead, fold the seats up, vacuum the underside, vacuum these little fold down areas as well. Try and vacuum up as much carpet as possible because again, we are going to be fogging and disinfecting the entire interior of this vehicle. So after that's done, you can go ahead and close it up and we can move on over to getting the equipment ready. Basically, we need to load up the fogger with the chemical make sure it's uh, calibrated correctly, and then we can start disinfecting. So next part, pretty self-explanatory. You get whatever chemical you're using, you get whatever fogger you're using, you load up the chemical into the fogger. And then again, if you are using a commercial grade one, close that nozzle all the way, and then a quarter turn once it's open, that's gonna be more than enough output for an interior of the vehicle. So we're all loaded now. You definitely want to use gloves, but now that you've loaded this up and before we start cleaning, we kind of want to remember to change your gloves out. Again, if you're watching it during this time, I get it if you don't have gloves to spare. But later on, just remember you want to change your gloves between gloves that you're using to load, gloves that you're using to hold this, and then gloves that you're using to actually wipe down the interior. So remember that other comment, the scent of this chemical it smells exactly like rubbing alcohol. So it has that super strong uh, pungent smell. So if you're using anything that smells like rubbing alcohol as well, it's safe to say that it's uh, pretty similar to this one. Okay, so we're all prepped and plugged in over here. So next, you wanna make sure that all your doors and windows are closed, except for the one that you're gonna be working from. Remember, we're using a fogger. We're not using a sprayer. So if you've ever messed around with a fog machine before, you know, if you're in an enclosed room and the fog machine goes off, it's gonna be very dense fog. Same concept applies here. You wanna have a thick, dense fog. If there's doors open and windows are open, the fog is just going to escape and it's not really going to build up in an area where it's gonna be settling on the surface. So, close everything, except for the one area where you're working from. So, basically all we gotta do now, start spraying. You wanna go ahead, mist everything with a light coat all on the seats on the dash on your steering wheel on your doorknobs on your handles here basically definitely coat anywhere where you are constantly in contact with over here you know picking that up you want to constantly check that i need to still empty that that was a good reminder but 
you know, especially seat belts, anything. You just want to coat it. And then you want to go ahead and start just coating it in a swaying motion. That way, the fog is going to build up in here and then eventually it's going to fall and it's going to settle. And that's how you're going to get full co coverage of actually using the disinfectant. But also remember, you definitely want to be wearing your PPE. Gloves, definitely a respirator, not a respirator, face mask. You could see that there was a bit, definitely some fog building up in there as I was spraying it. I hope it uh, portrayed that on the camera anyway. But now you want to go ahead, make sure everything's closed so that fog can permeate in there a little bit, and then it can fall and settle onto the surface. After that's happened, we're going to go ahead, get those rags, change out our gloves, and then we start actually wiping everything down so we have no buildup on the surface. Okay guys, so it's been about five minutes now. It's more or less settled in here. It smells super strong in here right now. It smells basically like an operating room. It smells like pure rubbing alcohol and just that super sanitized smell. So we got new gloves, clean rag. Basically what you wanna do now is just a complete wipe down. Wipe down the surface of everything that you fogged. This is gonna be the long and tedious part, but you want to make sure that that full sanitation was spread everywhere nice and evenly. The best way of doing that is by just doing a good fashion wipe down of everything. So I'm not going to bore you with all this. You just want to make sure you wipe everything down so there's no buildup, full coverage of everything all while trying to maintain the best cross-contamination prevention. So there it is guys. As you can see, it's pretty simple to do. You just wanna try, you wanna try your best to vacuum everything out of there. Then if you have a fogger in the chemical, just go ahead and fog that um again i wish there was a way you guys could smell the interior of this car right now it, it is unbelievable it smells like someone basically took a bottle of rubbing alcohol and just poured it directly onto your face it, it's crazy how sterile and clean it smells in here right now so again guys you can do this quite easily yourself but if you can't get your hands on a fogger you can't get your hands on that you can quite easily just get some Lysol and get some alcohol wipes. Spray everything down, then wipe it down with the alcohol wipes. That's gonna be a hundred times better than doing nothing. So if you like this video guys, go ahead and hit that uh, like and subscribe button down below. That'd be much appreciated. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section. Uh, let me know what you guys wanna see some more videos of. I'm trying to post about, you know, two videos a week. Um, trying to keep you guys entertained. So yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay safe out there. Hope this helped. See you later.